Wolf Tribe have a two-fold program. The teacher portion involves professional development, so we're bringing different arts-based strategies into the classroom so that teachers can learn some tools. And so the program will continue after our residency is done and they'll have a skill set that they can work from. And then also we work with the children. She has a way of taking a theme, whether it's the ocean or um, reading a map, and do movement and role playing that quite honestly I would never think of. <laughs> Oh, the mud. I forgot the mud. I'm Jericho and I'm five. The first few lessons or so, Jericho couldn't participate fully. He used to fall apart. He used to just lose it and have to spend some time by himself getting himself back together. There, were, there was always a breaking point where it wasn't his turn or someone accidentally got in his personal space and he had to take a moment to sit out of the circle and decompress. The way he is around his peers and how he's conscious of his friends and letting everyone have a turn is really different this year than it was last year. Jericho, do you think you're ready? Yeah. You're ready? I was supposed to look for four L's by myself and then I had three friends and then uh, we were supposed to find four U's. In today's lesson, he was allowed to pick who could help him on his team, and that gave him a chance to put his friends in, involved in the activity also. And the follow. All right, it's I okay. was really happy because I like my friends helping me. He went from a kid that would pout and sit at his desk and say, nobody wants to be my friend, to a kid that everybody wants to be friends with and everybody wants to sit next to and everybody wants to participate with. I so appreciate the Living Arts program and Miss Katie in particular. I love uh, the engagement that she creates in my students and the growth that I've seen from all of my students. We've been doing a lot of things with rhythm and trying to figure out different sequences and patterns. We actually have them build their own instruments out of cardboard boxes and giant rubber bands. And throughout that process, they end up uh, making a lot of calculations to actually be able to make consistent notes, kind of like on a guitar, how you have frets are spaced a certain way. Well, he makes the music with math because, like, as we was playing the drum, we had to measure it out and write the fractions down. Well, I, t I took mine home that I did from here, and like I'll just like play it like all the time. That's what you want to be right So, right, Walter? Katie was interesting in that she came in pretty uh, with a lot of animosity about music. So we started to work through material and kind of like figure out ways to really relate it to things that she was interested in, um, and kind of started to catch her attention more. Matt made it very real to her in that he took some of her favorite boy band musicians, and he helped to integrate um, some of the instruments she was playing into their song style and he did that really effectively. By the end of class, she didn't want to leave. You know, having that motivation kind of helped her to motivate her other group members, you know, to kind of try to learn some things too. Well, you're supposed to move the highlighters around to each point and see which ones so where, where they sound better together. So like, it'd be at 512 and you gotta play it. sound different each time. And she worked with a, a group that oftentimes was off task. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> she got them organized so that it would sound good, essentially. That was her goal. That sounds cool. Well, art increased my interest in school because it taught me how like, if you make like a mistake, you can like always erase it and like you could try again. And especially for Mr. Matt, because like whenever I messed up, he was always right there helping me. And like when we left music, I like I almost like cried for like three days. I was really sad. I'm making a animation about a with a bird based on one of my favorite book characters in a book series I read. Is he a boy or a girl? He is a boy. Elise has always been interested in drawing and animation. 
And when we saw the course offered, I thought it would be something that she might enjoy. It's really cool when you make an animation with your own characters, because if you just draw them out, they don't really do anything. <laughs> She's developed the skills and she's able to create these amazing pieces of art through moving images and she's, she's been able to do it all on her own. At school, Elise is one of the youngest students in her class and she had been feeling a little socially isolated and I believe one of the things that has helped her is taking this class where she's learned how to work more in a group and also to be cooperative in a group. I see it through the way she interacts with other students. She's really been a role model for the other students in the class. If they're struggling with something, she will step in and give them advice on how to move forward. That has now carried over to her schoolwork where her teacher has now put them in peer groups. I can see Elise being very self-confident going into high school and having this talent, I mean, it's amazing to think that, you know, she's not even a teenager yet and she has all these amazing, cool, finished pieces. Um, thank you, Miss Natasha, my teacher, and thank you, Living Arts, for helping me make my art come to life. <laughs>